Hello everyone and please surprise all of you. Please invite your friends and uh, today our topic is about uh, propaganda. You know if you go in the internet you will find millions of videos speaking about how amazing Islam is and you will not find even like for once uh, YouTube trying to take videos even those who they are really saying very harsh things but for us we cannot even keep our videos and obviously YouTube side always with Islam and it's very hard to believe that atheists they side with Islam when Islam is totally very aggressive against atheism in the same time not only atheists they side with Islam you will find many from those who claim to be Christians they side with Islam too as an example this is a center it's called Emiristine I don't know who is behind this center but here they bring you people who have nothing to do with Islam and they claim to be some of them they claim to be Christians and the only videos they make is to promote Islam to make you believe Islam is a wonderful religion not a single one of those is a Muslim I'm not sure about this one this one I think he is a Muslim uh, like who is the first anti-racist and supposedly the one who is first anti-racist is Muhammad <laughs> is it Muhammad who says the best of mankind are the Muslims and how they are the best by bringing people into Islam by slavery so what we are trying to say to you the propaganda is very huge and it's very powerful You might go to a church and you might hear a priest saying things which is supposedly good about Islam. Imagine. You might hear a bishop saying to you, Muhammad was a good man. And that can be heard from people who they might be Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. No matter really. It's not like one side or one church. There's many churches promoting this cult. As an example here says they bring you a woman she claimed to be a Catholic nun and she say who do they say that I am well they say Jesus his name is Isa and he's a prophet and he is not even worse to to tie the the, uh, uh, the shoes of Muhammad so they lie to you and they fabricate to you and they bring you a bunch of weirdo people I, I believe those are weirdo people they have something wrong either they give them a check because it doesn't make sense you see, if we say to those people, shall we check your words against the words of Muhammad? The words of Muhammad against everything you say to us in those videos. And the act of Muhammad against everything you claim in those videos. Christians read the Quran. A Christian read the Quran. We did. The Quran says in chapter 9, verse 29, kill the Christians, kill the Jews, and force them to be humiliated and to take their money and to rape their women and to slay them. We did read the Quran. Chapter 5, verse 14 it says, Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christian until judgment day. We did read the Quran. So, who are those people and what they want? The devil always he will find a window to come to you. This is why what we are fighting is way bigger than what some people think. This is not just about uh, uh, Islam versus, no, no, no. The one you might find from, from your house which means from your own church, somebody trying to promote Islam. Falsely, with false words, with false propaganda. And if you are a fool or a teenage or ignorant, you will believe them. I mean, here, like this guy, he is, is, is Allah God? And he is a doctor and he have a book in, uh, in Amazon, promoting his book, using the Muslims, so hoping that the Muslims will buy his book. I'm for sure they will buy it. Because in his book, he says Allah is God. Why not? If I make a book right now, praising Muhammad, uh, first of all, nobody will fight my book. Secondly, I will not be worried for my life and safety. Number three, I will make a lot of money. So how we will know who is the one is teaching us the truth? Don't listen to me, don't listen to them. Check it out yourself. The Bible say, the Messiah said, from their fruits you shall know them 
like this guy here he make a videos saying uh, Muhammad is a prophet of war I mean are you sure Muhammad is a prophet of war no way where is the video it says that oh, here we go Muhammad the prophet of war so in his video who will show you that Muhammad he came with peace what are you talking about he is not a prophet of war there is a book it's called the book of al maghazi which means the attacks which was Muhammad the leader of it the whole book is about nothing except war Muhammad he did slaughtering the Jews slaughtering the Christians slaughtering the 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 the, the the Arab slaughtering everybody around him and yet this guy uh, he's a doctor I don't know what who is he he says to you Muhammad is a prophet of war where do you get this from even Islam mean peace and you see if we search for how many people they said Islam mean peace you will find presidents kings leaders even those who claim to be Christians as George Bush he says Islam mean peace George Bush Obama I mean you name it all presidents kings in Europe they said Islam mean peace Islam is a great religion Islam is a wonderful religion but the second you say the truth you know the go the gate of, of, of hell will open on you and everybody will fight you you have to say Islam is peace the propaganda is so huge and the liars are lined up and money talk you see uh, if you if we look right now in the internet to see how many people they are exposing the cult of Islam you can count them by your fingers trust me you can count them by your fingers and not only that you look at the audience of those who expose Islam and the audience of those who support Islam we cannot compare Correct? We cannot compare. If I say good things about Islam now, I will have tens of thousands and tens of thousands lined up in my channels and they are watching my videos every second I post one. They will be liking it, subscribing, adding, sharing. But if you fight Islam, even those who claim to be Christian, they don't know you. Literally. You have to kiss their hand and their shoes to say, hey, can you share a link? Can you download the video, please? Can you do something with us? But if a Muslim, he posts a video promoting Islam, everybody will die like, you don't even need to say it, you know, they, they, uh, you know, uh, they gang together and they support this cult. And look how serious I am. And look at the text. And then you will understand why, you know, why we, why we don't have really enough support. Defending Islam. Off, off, off. Take a hike. Yes, everybody defending Islam, don't you see? Can you show me one TV station is attacking Islam? Where are they? There's documentary against Christianity. There's documentary by History Channel against Christianity, by Discovery Channel. You will not find one saying anything negative about Muhammad. How many books are written against the crusade? Are taught in the schools in every school in USA and how many books exposing the Islamic Mujahideen army of Muhammad the crusade they were fighting back they were not fighting first actually if not the crusade the USA will be Muslims by now Australia will be Muslims by now all of you will be Muslims all of you will be slaves of Allah it is the crusade who saved the whole world not only Europe In the White House, we have a uh, Trump. He is shaking hands with Erdogan, the biggest criminal in this earth. This is the truth. Hypocrite, liars, all of them. The guy, his hands is full of blood. This Erdogan, he is the biggest supplier and 
terrorist vendor. Yet we invite him to the White House when we call him president and we, we will sell him arms and we will give him money and we pay respect. The guy, he stole half of Cyprus. Nobody talk. The guy, he keep threatening Greece. Nobody talk. The, this, I mean, this guy, he want to kill everybody around him. Nobody talk. This is the truth. So, the second you say something truthful, it is the same second you will face a lot of problems. And you will see that you are mostly alone. I don't know if you ever uh, 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 went to a fight and in the fight you look for your friends and when the fight is started, you find nobody. This is exactly what happened when you start fighting this cult. I have people, literally, they stop talking to me after they learn who I am because they are afraid. They are afraid even to invite me to their houses. You believe it? Instead of being happy to have someone like me in their house and they welcome, no. Once I was visiting people and uh, the TV, they were playing a debate of me in the TV with a Muslim sheikh. The guy, he says, this guy, he sounds like you. Is that you? Well, I don't say really, I, uh, it's, I, but I cannot lie. I said, yeah. The same second I say this me, their face had changed. And they are Christians. And then since then, they never call me and they never invite me to their house, ever. Yet they claim to be Christian, they go to the church, they pray every Sunday, but they are coward. They got scared, and this guy, God knows how many people after him. They might come to our house now. All right? So how we can stand against this propaganda, huge propaganda machine, money, billions of dollars? First of all, don't think about how to stand against it, just to stand against it and leave the rest to the Lord. You see, when uh, when one day I decide to uh, to go and do what I do, I, I know I'm a weak person. I'm no one. I don't even have money. I don't have power. I don't have even like a, an influence if in a job or something. I'm no one. But yet I never give up. So what if I am one and I am no one? The Lord will make me someone. So I start from zero. And it doesn't matter. Even if today still I am in zero, still I will, de I will do what I need to do. So number one is never give up. And the Lord is your provider. And the Lord is your protector. And we will show the fruits of Muhammad, no matter what the whole world say. So if we have... Let us say the whole world is seven billions and there is almost seven billions liars. That is not an excuse for me to join the liars, my friend. Is that true? That is not an excuse. If the whole world became a world of hypocrisy and hypocrites, that is not an excuse for us to be hypocrite too. And never feel down. You see, I'm not telling you what's happening to make you feel down. I'm telling you what's happening because this is what it says in the Bible. The Bible says, I will send you and you will be sheep between wolves. He did not say he will send us to be the sheep and they are the wolves. It's the opposite. The Messiah, he says, time will, will come and people will, by killing you, think they are doing favor to God. And this is exactly what happened. And the Messiah, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. And those people, they claim to be Christians, as you see them in this website. All of them, they are from Western background. And some of them, they claim to be Christians. When a Christians first meet a Muslim, what does that mean? What about you make a topic for me when, uh, when, uh, uh, when the first Christian met Muhammad, what happened? 
Muhammad, he says, the best of mankind are Muslims. And this is fascist teaching. And he claimed that they have a duty to bring people and chain around their necks. Muhammad, he claimed that anyone is not a Muslim, he is dirty, filthy. And this is in the Quran, this is not my statement. It says, Najis is more than filthy, actually. It is something you cannot clean. Nothing can make you clean. Chapter 9, verse 28. This is why the Muslims now, they have in Mecca and Medina sign. It says Muslims only. Like before you enter the city, there is an area you cannot pass. If you pass, you will be killed. Muslims only, which means if you are not a Muslim and you pass this area, your blood is for free because you are Najis. In Saudi Arabia, they have a green, uh, sorry, they have a brown residency. Brown residency is for anyone is a Muslim. The one who is a Muslim, his residency, the white, the color is white. And the reason they choose for you brown because you are dirty. You are like it's exactly the, the the same color as a poop. Exactly the same color as the poop. And if you speak about no go zone, you will find tons of lawyers says, "Oh, it doesn't say that. Where do you get this from?" In Islam, there is no gozun. What are you talking about? This is the verse in the front of you, chapter eight, chapter nine, verse twenty-eight. And if we go right now and we search in Prophet Google, you will find tons of signs in Mecca. It says Muslims only. Do you see it? This is not uh, like for them. This is not something shameful. This is something they are proud about. Have you ever heard of United Nations saying how you can have a sign like this? Have you ever seen CNN making a scandal about it? Muslim only, non-Muslims. This is exactly what racism is about. When in South Africa, the white people, they used to have buses for the white and buses for the black. This is exactly what we see here. But this is more ugly because this is not only uh, an idea of a man. This is an idea, supposedly an idea of God. This God, he teaches the Muslims that non-Muslims are dirty. They cannot enter this land. So Muhammad, he did a cleansing for non-Muslims from this land. And actually Muhammad, he said, if I became victorious, I will cleanse. Uh, keep typing for an English sometime. If I if I became victorious, I will cleanse the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. And this is exactly what happened. Today in Saudi Arabia, we have zero Christian. Have you ever heard of a country have zero Christian? Why? I mean, Christianity is supposed to exist before Islam exists there. So how today we have zero Christians? Because this is what happened. Saudi Arabia will never give a citizenship for somebody is not not a Muslim and if a Saudi he converted out of Islam they will take a citizenship from him this is the friend of Trump and this is the friend of uh, George Bush and this is the friends of Obama and have you ever heard of Trump speaking about the Christian Trump's day and night speak about the uh, Uyghur in China the mistreatment of the Uyghur in China. I never heard this guy speaking about the mistreatment of the Christians in China. Why the Christian there they don't count? Only we defend, you know, this guy who he, he present who supposedly. He claimed to be what? He claimed to be Christian, he claimed to be a Jew, he claimed to be a Hindu. Who are you? Defend the Muslim, no problem. What about the Christians? I never heard him saying, look what they do to the Christians in China. Neither him, neither his minister, neither his uh, 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 administration.
all of them they are liars we cannot depend on them <clears throat> while Islam protected by government we as a Christians we are discriminated by government we discriminated by YouTube by Google by government by organizations by every mean everywhere but that shall not make us weaker that shall make us better Christians so I take this as something for my uh, let us say my benefit not the opposite you see a Christian who is burned with discrimination he is a better Christian more powerful Christianity was always great when there was discrimination Christianity became eh, not really real when there is no discrimination because what discrimination does only true Christians are filters they are filtered you know a filter when you have a filter so discrimination will make many of them okay I'm not going I'm not why I want to stay a Christian to be discriminated I'm not going to stay there so only really Christians will stay the rest will go So for me, discrimination, it worked for my benefit, not for against me. And actually, always we get more successful and we work harder, we are discriminated as we have, uh, we witness what's happening in China. In China now, the numbers of Christians is increasing as never before. And actually, this is one of the stupid mistakes of the Chinese government. You see, because they forbid the Chinese from knowing about Christ, People, they became more curious. People want to know who are those people who they risk their life to pray in the ground and to teach about Jesus, but they knew if the uh, uh, Chinese police arrest them, they will stay for years in jail. Who are those people? So instead of stopping the 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 success of, of, of the Christian faith and belief, it's working really in the opposite direction. And sooner or later, actually, I, I, am not, I am not a prophet. I don't claim to be one. But I believe in less than 40, 50 years from now, China will be uh, a Christian democracy and will be a Christian country. So my friend, the propaganda is big and it's against you, but you are you are strong as long as you have faith and you should be vigilant, you should teach your family, your children, and you should not be mute wherever you go. If somebody says something stupid, show him that he is stupid. Don't be ashamed to be the smart one there. He should be ashamed. They, they don't want us actually to share like who when when one of you anyone saw in TV somebody saying this what we see in the screen we never heard this before right I mean which TV station will show that uh, CNN or Fox News or which one Al Jazeera Al Jazeera they have a program about uh, what what the white man to the Indian man in America. What about you make a program what Muhammad he did to the Christians in the Middle East? All those countries you see in the map, they are not Islamic countries and they were occupied by the army of Muhammad. What about you make a make a movie about Constantinia, which is a Christian land, taken by this filthy Erdogan who is in the White House right now and Trump is shaking hands with him? What about we make a movie about the attack and the invasion in Cyprus and, and, and swallowing half of Cyprus in the middle of the day in the front of the European Union and nobody move? What about we make a movie about tens of thousands of Kurdish being slaughtered and Christians and Armenian and nobody talk about it? All of this is not in the name of Turkey. This is in the name of Islam. This is the truth.
Well, you know, whatever Trump he is, you see, I have no choice except to vote for him, but not because he's a good guy. But let us say, all of, the, all of them, they are bad cookies. But this cookie is not full of poison. The rest is full of poison. So we vote for Trump not because he is good, but he is best. He is the best between the bad cookies. All of them, they are hypocrite. All of them, they have business with those those countries, and they favor their business over over ethic and over what is right and what's wrong. Trump, he went to withdraw from Syria, but suddenly he remembered that we have oil there in Syria, so we have to take the oil. We can't give it to them. So he decided to keep hundreds of so 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 Christians and Kurdish will be slaughtered by the Turkish. It's okay, but we will leave soldiers to protect the oil. I mean, have you ever heard of a of a of a of a savage thinking more than this? What you take in the Quran two sixty two. What do you want about my take in the Quran in 262? <clears throat> Can you make your question more clear? Give me a question at least to understand what do you want to, what do you want me to tell you? Not what your take. You know, my take in the whole Quran is the whole the Quran is, is a collection of stories. If you are saying, why they are saying here that the Christians and the Jews they will go to heaven well Muhammad this is in the beginning of his life he was a weak person and he have no support he have no army so in this time he want to make everybody convert to Islam it's like election day you know election day a Trump in election day he is a he's with the gays he's a Christian hmm? Is with I mean uh, those people are fake, you know. They uh, this is Muhammad the same. It's a politics. So at this moment, Muhammad was weak. So he was saying, you Christians, Jews, Sabian, Sabian worship stars, you will go to heaven. Don't worry about it. He was just trying to make himself established so those people will believe in him, accept him. But it did not work. So this is just a this is a you know pure politics. This is have nothing to do. Would Muhammad believe? And later Muhammad says, kill them wherever you find them. Right? They they are the same as those in the election. You know, if you watch that, I don't know if you ever watch American election, it's the most funny cartoon ever. They stand in the stage like a bunch of zucchini. And every zucchini of them, he promised you all the witted dreams you will have in your life. It's like a, it's a witted dream of uh, you. Uh, it's not a sexual dream, but it's kind of a witted dream of being wealthy, uh, swimming in the Caribbean Sea. Uh, you know, you are eating lobster. I mean, they will make the, the whole world uh, uh, beautiful for you. But this is only in the election day. We will give you health insurance. We will give you... And then the election happened. Anyway, go. This is the same way here for the last century, and nothing happened. I, me myself, until now, I don't have health insurance. <laughs> you know, I don't have it. It's very expensive. The poor stay poor, and the rich they are richer. And those who promise you something in the election, they are a bunch of liars. All of them. It doesn't matter. Trump. All of them. They are the same. But at least Trump. You know, let us say he's more honest than them. He, he lie a lot, and he think like he is like this guy. He keeps saying, "I did, I did, I did, I did." You know, like, but he he's he's a he have a he have an uh, echo issue. But at least this guy, he said many things he promised. But I found that most of the things he promised is not really important. But this is America, my friend. What he what we can do? America is a uh, uh, like uh, the American system is very silly. I mean. Uh, they judge you by silly stuff. I mean, have you ever heard somebody voting for somebody because he's taller? This is in America, it can happen. I, I saw it in Fox News. They were talking about Trump, that did you see how tall he is? And supposedly they are telling people they should vote for him. Have you, how, how silly, how stupid? You vote for the guy because he's tall?
What's wrong with those people? Tell me his education. Tell me what, how smart he is. Tell me what he would do to us. Who cares if he is tall or short? So what if he is five foot? What does this have to do with me? Go and see Putin. Putin is a short guy. The genius. He took Russia collapsing. He took the Russian, they all sleeping in the street. He took Russia where women, Russian, they were for sale. And look at Russia today. What short, what tall? So the problem is, and this is what we are talking about today, is fighting a fraud, fighting lies. And you cannot fight a fraud by joining the fraud. You have to say the truth. And it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how many people they support the lies even if you are the only one is honest left still you should be honest this is why the Lord he says what is the benefit of a man he win the whole world but he lost himself you want to join the crowd hell is wide open my friend the gate of hell is wide it's not narrow will take everybody Don't sell yourself to the devil. Say the truth. Now, who is here who don't agree with me that Islam teach nothing but evil? If you remember once when the Pope of the Catholic, he said, Muhammad, he brought nothing but evil. Do you know how many people attack him? TV stations wrote against him. Everybody almost is spitting on him. How you say that? Well, the guy is saying the truth. Muhammad, he brought nothing but evil. Finally, we got somebody is a truthful and he is saying the truth. Now, who is going to show me that Muhammad he brought something not evil? Forget about all this propaganda. Here we go. We are here. Yeah, but my friend, the Trump is not the problem. You see, we are giving you an example of Trump, but Trump is an example of a society, of a whole community. This is America, my friend. You go to the Democrat, you will find the women she is saying to them that we should eat our kids. Why? Because kids are causing global warming. Have you ever heard of stupidity like this? The other one saying we should, we should ban cars and no cars no more. Here we go. So in America, you feel like those who they are in the stage, they are coming from different galaxy. They are not like a human like us. They are like alien, you know? It doesn't matter if it's Democrat or Republican, but the, the Democrat is coming for sure from the different galaxy. I don't know what food they eat. I don't know what books they read. I don't know how they grow up. I don't know how what, what made them who they are. But the way they are is very, very weird. And this is why you see uh, Muslims always they support Democrat. Rarely you will find somebody, you know, they might join the other crowd so they can get a place there too, you know, to reserve their place. But if you go, if you go, actually, I saw in Germany, I saw uh, a video made by one of the leaders of Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. But he is a citizen in Germany and he's a member in the left party. How you are Muslim Brotherhood, but you join the left? It doesn't make sense. This party support gays, support lesbian, support feminine men. You know, they join so they can do their business. They knew that those are the ones who will support them. So they join, they don't mind. There is a Muslim in the chat worrying for a Skype. Okay. We will open Skype and see. <coughs> mm. 
All right, we are in Skype now. Let us see who is the Muslim is. Well, until now, I don't see any Muslim trying to contact me. I see nothing in my Skype. All right, no problem. So Islam is not is Islam is what Islam is. It's not Islam is not what uh, somebody work in politics or uh, TV propaganda or somebody claim to be Christian. Regardless what they say. If somebody says Islam is ugly, we have to check. Maybe it's not true. If somebody says Islam is beautiful, we need to check. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. So what people say to us will not make any difference unless we check and we see the reference. Where did he get this from? You see, history is already written. We do not need to write history again. And especially the history we have about Islam, most of it is written by Muslims. And that history which is written by Muslims, which means Muslims are proud about it, is disgusting when the history says Muhammad he split the women two pieces alive she is over 80 and this is written in books of history of Muslims and then we find somebody coming to us says uh, you are saying Muhammad is a prophet of war where do you get this from this is not true like this idiot. Or like this liar here. I, I got him busted in Malai's video. This guy, he says in his video, who is the first anti-racist? There's nobody in this earth as racist as Muhammad. Nobody. Muhammad consider Islam a race and the rest are other race. And the other race have to be killed, have to be humiliated. And then they start quoting for you things which is far away from the truth. But here we show you what is the truth. It's in the front of you. If Islam is anti-racism, so what is that? Isn't it Muhammad, he said that Allah created the black from the left shoulder of uh, Adam and he said to them, go to hell? And he created the white from the right shoulder of Adam, and he said to him, to 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 the, to the white, go to go uh, uh, go to heaven. Is that me saying that, or someone else? So we can we can say there is people who they have ideas. And they want to promote ideas and they, there's people who have a, you know tr the truth and the truth always many they try to hide it they, no, they don't want you to know about it I'm trying to find the hadith here give me a second Yeah, look like like this hadith as an example. Muhammad is an anti-racism. Look at this. This is Muhammad, the anti-racism. And imagine this is written in their books. This is not written by the books of the Jews, the Hindus, the Christians. This is not written by somebody he hated Muhammad. This is written by them. They're scholars. This is supposedly wisdom for the Muhammadan. This is the perfect man, Muhammad himself. He is teaching amazing stuff. Allah Messenger said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder and they emitted from it white of spring as if it were white ants. 
he struck his left shoulders and they are emitted from from it black of spring as if it were circle then then uh, uh, then he said to those who emitted from the right shoulder go to paradise and I don't care and he said to those who emitted from the left shoulder which means the black go to hell and I don't mind so how those people they say to us they make videos trying to fool us that Muhammad is anti-racism anti-racism Islam itself is racism because the word Islam is Aslam Taslam which mean a convert to Islam you will be safe which mean if you don't join us you are from different race you are dead and this is Muhammad making a promise that he will expel and he will kill anyone who is a Christian or a Jew who live in the Arabian Peninsula he made a promise All right, we have a Muslim. Let us see. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Mr. Sayed, you are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Yes, how are you? Yeah, I just like to check with you. Why do you see why do you see Islam as something evil? I mean, from my reading of the scripture, I don't I don't detect such such a thing that exists in the scripture itself. So how do you come to that conclusion? Where are you from, my friend? Where am I from? Southeast Asia. Okay. Do you see the screen which I'm showing you on the screen? Uh hold on, let me. Let me turn on my com. My phone at the moment. Hold on, yeah. Are you from Indonesia? No, no, I'm not. But it's very near where I am. Malaysia? No, no, I'm not from. Indonesia. Are no. you from India, Pakistan? Anybody? Somewhere. Why are you don't say? Yeah. I mean, why are you hiding? No, no, no. Okay. Sorry. All right. Okay. Um, just like you, why do you hide your identity? You know how dangerous it is. What dangerous? You're you a Muslim. One wrong comment. And... Aren't you a Muslim? I mean, I'm trying to be a Muslim, technically. What do you mean trying to be a Muslim? Are you a Muslim or not a Muslim? Well, uh, the explanation comes in chapter 12, 104. If you look at this verse it says that even the prophet joseph he says that he would like to die a muslim in a state of being muslim hmm. so if you look at that verse and who itself, said that statement to understand and who said that of, statement who said that statement it's uh it's the prophet joseph but yeah. who's, who said that statement to you did you see joseph saying that is it written in a different book or this is only one guy his name is muhammad Speak about written, someone his uh, name is joseph uh, it's written in the Quran. i know but the, yeah, it's, but it's the whole quran but, but oh, you see, yeah. you are saying to me, Joseph says that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Jews never said that. The Christian never said that. So why but, only Muhammad, who came long hundreds of years after Joseph, he can tell us something. Nobody said that before him. I mean, isn't it really weird that you take that Joseph really well, said that I seriously? Mean that, that a lot of, yeah. Mm. You see, the fact that not many people are saying that shows that a lot of people are not reading the scripture and they do not know. I mean, my friend, it so Muhammad, he got this information from where? I'm asking you. No problem. I'm asking you. Muhammad, where he got his information about Joseph? Okay. Well, Muhammad gets his information from mm. God himself, like chapter 297. From where? From, where? To him. from where? Because if you look at chapter 4113, uh, no, no, from problem. Where? no problem. In from, the form of okay, From where? From where? If you ask, of course, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I'm not in charge of delivering uh, my the friend. truth. You see, okay. God is the one who does that. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, you straightforward. Let me ask you straightforward the question. I I don't know what do you do for okay. it. Are you an educated person? That depends. It depends on on what. Like, well, you know, you I, I will tell you a story. Sometimes I feel, or I you know, I imagine okay. myself doing things, but in fact, I did not. Do you think I'm crazy? Well, I don't know. That is your that is your perspective. 
No, no, I'm asking um, you. I'm asking you, not my because... I'm asking you, you. I'm asking you. Sometimes I feel like I, I think I somebody squeezed me. Somebody came to me and squeezed me. Sometimes even I feel like somebody was uh, women having sex with me, but the fact they, 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 they did not. So do you think I'm crazy? But I think it's real. Then, like I say, it's, it's subjective, right? So, yeah, um, I mean, personally, I've had the experience of, you know, when you want to wake up, there's something pressing on your chest. You can't move. No, no, I'm not talking real, about when I wake up, something pressing in my chest. This is no. I'm talking like now, mm -hmm. I am not sleeping. Okay. And I imagine myself mm -hmm. having sex with women, like there's five, six, seven, eight women, and they are all over me, and they are naked, and we are having sex. But in reality, I did not have sex. But I think, I believe I did. So what do you think my situation is? Well, I don't know. That is your condition. It's real to you, but it might not be real to other people. So, yeah, I because know it's, it's not real for other people. Uh, you see, I'm not saying it's real. I'm telling you it's not real. It's not real. But I think it's real. In in the moment, I think it's real. So do you think I'm crazy? But who am I to judge if you are crazy? I mean, Why not? How you can judge um, Muhammad is a prophet then? How can you judge Muhammad is a prophet? Suddenly you cannot judge me and I am no one. So if the that, one who is, is a prophet, okay. um, the one who the is one a prophet who, who will affect your life, you are not willing to judge him? And you are not willing to judge me? How you judge Muhammad as a prophet? How you know Muhammad as a prophet then? Well, we judge based on, on the knowledge that he brings. What I mean, knowledge? I personally what, did not like, witness like the what? prophet. Why, like what? The sun hmm. set in the murky water, the knowledge? Well, that is, okay. I mean, if you look at that verse, um, I don't know, maybe it's from perspective. What if, perspective? The, if you are facing no. the ocean and the sunsets, you look first of all. The you, you look uh, at the first of all. The verse does not say anything about the ocean. It says a spring of muddy hot water. So this is not. A, that cannot be about mm -hmm. somebody uh, thinking it's going in the ocean. This is about spring of water. Do you have your? Right, Quran, so do you think that? Do you that, have your Quran that, translation? Do you have your Quran uh, translation? Uh, yes, I do says, have Okay. Yes. Does it say spring or ocean? Uh -huh. Okay, maybe it's perspective. You're standing by the beach and my you friend, see the, what beach? The this is a spring. There's I mean, no beach, not? my friend. It's a spring of water. Have you ever heard of a water a spring? It's a I, mean, beach. I mean, I'm just saying. An example. Don't say it's. Yeah, I'm giving first, an example. We, we cannot imagine. You are playing the imaginary. Like you are like me now. A second ago, I was saying to you, I imagine myself having sex with twenty women, and now you are saying we are imagining. Don't imagine. I'm asking you. Does it say literally? It's a spring of water, or it okay. says an ocean. This is spring of water. Okay. I mean, so there's no beach, as, so there's no beach, aware. and cannot be from perspective of somebody because there's no way that you would think the sun sitting in a spring of water. This is not the ocean. The spring of water is a small. So obviously he is not talking about the ocean. And you, you, you Muslims, you insert the word <laughs> ocean there in the middle of nowhere. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Okay. Well, so what you, what you are I'm saying? What you are saying is uh, ocean. Yeah. Where do you get the ocean from? No, I'm just giving an, an, a perspective. Let's no, say we don't give me a perspective beach, unless it is there. You see, my friend, my friend, don't give me something, an idea, unless okay. it supports what is written. What is written, it says a spring of a black, muddy, hot water. Okay? So there's no ocean. Okay. It cannot be about... Right. Okay, okay. I'll, thought, give it, I'll, give, I'll give that to you. All right. Okay, I'll give that to you. Mm. But how do you explain that, that Islam is evil? I mean, arguing about where the sun sets. Mm. That's not make something evil. Okay, but, you uh, no, but, that, but uh, we want to take Islam it. Uh, we want to take it. We want to take it step by step. Hold on. So, if Muhammad okay, he okay, said okay. the sun set in murky water, and this is not a true, what that would make Muhammad? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, at worst, a lie. At worst, but okay. at best, Thank maybe you. it's. Here we go. This is Muhammad. Water. This yeah. is Muhammad, and this mm. is Sahih Hadith. Muhammad said, "I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah." Who was a drink, uh, riding a donkey? I'm reading the screen. I don't know if you can see it. While the sun was setting, he asked, "Do you know where this set?" I replied, "Allah and His Apostle knows best." He said, "It's set in a spring of warm water, Hamia, hot water." So, you said, "If this is not true, it means that will make Muhammad a liar." Correct? If it's not true, okay. If it's not true. So, do you yeah. think a liar? Don't scenario. you think a liar is a is a a liar is a form of evil? Don't you think you are saying to me how Islam will how that will make Islam evil? But you do. Well, think? if 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 it's yeah, 
well, if it's confirmed uh, a lie, then it is evil. But if it's a well, misunderstanding it's of, of friend, our perspective, you, can, then we are. Can you read it, my friend? What, you stop saying perspective. Wait, stop stay, saying perspective. It's in front of you. This is Muhammad explaining the verse. Okay. This is not my perspective. This is not yours. This is the one who came with the verse. Okay. But you're taking, you are taking this. You you are bringing forth this argument from from another book, right? But this not is Muhammad words. Correct? This is Muhammad words. But if you look at the, my friend, what other book? No, no. Okay, so look at the Quran things. says so. Okay, the Quran says the, okay. the Quran does not say perspective. So why you mm -hmm. are bringing that word from other books? Okay, okay. Let's take a look at ten chapter ten thirty two. Maybe you can. Chapter you can what? Chapter what? Read to me what ten thirty two says. Chapter ten thirty two. Yeah. Okay, what it says. 10.32, you said? No, 10.32, 10.32. Okay, read it yeah. for us, what it says. Go ahead. Uh, let me sign. <clears throat> okay, let me just translate because my, my scripture is not in English. Mm -hmm. No problem, I have it in English in front of us. Don't worry about the, the translation. Be, Don't just tell me what, uh, so just tell me what this have to do. You are saying to me that this is a verse saying that Allah, okay, this is the true God. This is the true God. Okay, how this is can be the true God? Yet He is teaching us that the sun set in murky water. Yeah, no, the, the hmm. then says that the truth, um, that is God, the, the truth. Okay, and um, hmm. and there's no truth if you do not accept the truth. Uh, there's no truth except uh, falsehood or being lost. This is Satan or Dalai. My friend, my friend. You see, yeah. I don't so know if, I don't do know you if you're listening to me. Yeah. Okay, Muhammad, he said his God is the truth. His God is the amazing. His God, the most powerful. But Muhammad himself, he said, and his God said that the sun set in murky water. So Muhammad and his God, obviously, they are lying. How they can be the truth, but they are liars at the same time. But how is that evil at the same time? Because the lying is evil, my friend. Evil. Don't you agree that lying is from the devil? Don't you agree that line is satanic? <laughs> but what if we? Well, I got to. We got to agree to disagree on this. I mean, just what do you mean on agree to disagree? No, no, Islamic because people. because now I'm I'm mm. lying to you to deceive you and make you believe in a god which is a false god. Because if you agree that this is a lie, that means everything Muhammad he brought is a lie, and that will make all the Muslims who believe in him go to hell. This is the biggest lie ever. So this is extremely evil because I'm not lying just to uh, make uh, maybe a okay, woman like about? me. I'm lying to make people believe in me as a prophet and to believe in my God. And they are more than a billion. So this is the biggest lie in history. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well... Let's see. But if you look at other verses, it doesn't. There's a lot of good my also friend, in the scripture. Friend, my friend, my friend. Okay, we have to look at things from Forget, a balanced perspective. Okay, uh, my friend. I don't know what what to call you. What's your name? Uh, you can just call me Zeka. Yeah. Zeka. Okay, Zeka. Yeah. Listen, I'm going you. I'm going to give you an opportunity to prove to me there is there is anything in the Quran proving to us the Quran to be from a true God. Anything you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We we'll, let's take a look at a few verses. Let's. Give me one. Let's one take a look at 16 one, verse 19. One at the yeah. time. First is 16. Uh, mm -hmm. You said six, 16. 16 verse 19. 16 verse yeah. 19. Okay, what God, about it? Yeah, nine zero six one six nine zero nine zero. No uh, problem. <laughs> God promotes justice and uh, hmm. doing of good. Hmm. Yeah, and to help those close to you and okay. prevent you from doing vice, hmm. um, enmity, and. Uh, hmm. Okay. Bad things like basically. Yeah? All right. Then and, Muhammad, uh, okay. You, you see, you are saying you are saying yeah. that the, so, the the one who keep a promise, he is a good person, right? The one who keeps a promise, okay. generally, yeah. <laughs> so if you make a pledge, what a pledge with who? With uh, with the with uh, with Allah only, or with none? If I if you promise me something, I'm not a Muslim. Should you keep your promise to me or no? Yes, uh, generally so, yes. So yes, if you don't your keep promise. your if you don't keep your promise to me, does that make you evil? Uh, Sixty-one verse two and three. If you don't keep your promises, my friend, in the sight of God, I'm asking you. Give 61. me an answer first. Mm -hmm. If if mm -hmm. if you promise somebody, if you promise me, or you promise, let us say, your wife, a 
is if there is a teaching teaching you not to be truthful with those people is that evil or not well you've heard of a white lie before right what white lie like what <clears throat> mm, like 16106 i think i think you're talking about this best 16 what so correct what in 16106 if i'm not mistaken what 16106 yeah okay let's, let's take a look at 16106 no 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 i'm not talking about that i'm asking i'm saying if you make if you mm -hmm. if you even swear by allah you take an oath are mm -hmm. you allowed to take an oath false oath in islam am i allowed to take an oath false oath like you swear false by oath. allah and then you're, you're ah, you, you okay. know you know it's 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 a lie you are lying ah, is it okay 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 i think yeah so let's let's resolve this let's look at chapter two 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 five i think or two 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 four yeah the answer in this verse hmm. uh, god does not hold you accountable for the words you say except for your intention hmm. what you really intend that means if you intend to deceive people to to mislead people and to cause harm then you be answerable for for what you for the promise that you make my friend what are there you might be about? situations this is, whereby this is hmm? about this is about muhammad mm -hmm. taking oath to his wives and he lie he keep taking oath and he break his oath so are you saying to me you are you saying to me that muhammad when he take an oath to his wife int intentionally he is not aware that he is using the name of god to lie to his wives and what kind of a where, prophet, where, where do you get that read read the interpretation here we go what interpretation you like to read wait wait hold on let me see let me see hold on. <laughs> Uh, so where did you get that information from about about my perfect friend, lying my friend when i say something i say to you i'm saying to you uh, uh do mm -hmm. you speak with knowledge or you speak without knowledge you yourself do you speak well, with knowledge or without knowledge well the scripture itself is knowledge from god chapter 4 okay. and 6, no, 6 i'm asking you you yourself yourself, yourself you, you, the you, the, you are the one who is giving hmm? me the answer you are the one giving me the answer are you giving me the answer based on knowledge you yeah. have or based in guessing hmm? based on the knowledge that i come across in the scripture all right so because you based on the knowledge you okay. is evil. based on the knowledge based, based in the knowledge you based in the knowledge mm -hmm. you have chapter 2 verse number uh -huh. 2 to 5 is about what let me let me just confirm my chapter two 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 five okay chapter two 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 five say god does not punish you just because of the the oath i think that mm. that you did not uh, mean but he punishes you for the intentions that is within your heart mm. okay and what is, is that what is that forgiving mean? well in my intention in my heart i wanna you know i don't mean my oath this is what it's mean so if you mean it Allah will take you accountable, but you don't mean it. So in your mouth, you're allowed to lie. You say, I swear by Allah, but you don't mean to swear by Allah. Well, that's the problem, you see, because accountability for from God's points of from God's point of view is different from humans. My because friend, you, matter, it, my, you, you have a God, you have a God, a you are saying to me, yeah. you have a God, he legalized lying. Mm -hmm. He is saying not only you can lie, you can use my name. To make somebody believe that you are truthful, but the fact you don't mean it. Isn't it this is no, I don't think he says I think two two four says do not use God's name, right? No, it do says not. the opposite. You, 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 it says the opposite. It says, not it, say, it says it says that you can. The chapter two 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 four it says do not use God's friend, name. I am showing you I'm showing you, I'm showing you chapter two twenty five. It's in front of you. 225. Yeah, 225 verse number Al Baqarah. And, and this is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Do you see it? Uh, why do you go outside of the scripture? Well, Muhammad is explaining you, you, the hadith you, for you. Is there, two, it, there is, okay, it, there is at, better, it, there is better than Muhammad. It, there is better than Muhammad to explain okay. the verse. Are you saying to me, you know the Quran more that, than Muhammad? Okay. Before okay, let's let's look at this verse just before we continue. Perhaps mm. it bring mm. more like chapter two forty two. Mm. Chapter, chapter two forty two. Okay, let's look at that first. Then okay, chapter two forty two. Okay, what about it? Do not mix the truth. 
mm. with falsehood, it says. But once you mix things up, it becomes messy. A will become B, B will become C, and it becomes a new religion after that. Yeah, tell me what, about uh, 42. On now, what tell me about 42. What, why, you, why, you, why you say that? Yeah. What this is? Uh, well, okay, okay. You see, I will okay, go with you. You see, I can speak. I can speak, my friend. I can speak. Uh -huh. Don't mix the false with the lies. But then I am the biggest liar. Then uh -huh. that will make me hypocrite. Let me ask you, as an example, did Muhammad say that a Muslim should not get uh -huh. it close to his wife when they have their period? Uh, do not have sex with their wife. Chapter two, two hundred and twenty-two. Yeah. Talking about okay. That. So Muhammad, right. he is saying you don't, you don't get it close to them. Not doesn't say don't get sex. It says stay but away from them. Doesn't, right? It doesn't say close. Huh? Yeah. Stay huh? away from them. Yes. yes okay. Stay away from yeah, them. What correct, does that mean? Correct, it means yes, nothing have to do yeah. anything. Anything have to do with sexuality is should not happen. Correct. Mm, let me see. Uh, let me take an English translation. Yeah, me. this is the same chapter we are reading. Actually, we are just reading the a few verses before chapter two, verse number two, two, two. So Muhammad he said yeah, that you don't have two, two. you don't get it close to your wives when they have their period. Okay. Um let me read to you the, the English translation, chapter 2222. Two, two, two. Hmm. And they ask you about menstruation. Say it is harm. Hmm. So keep away from wives hmm. during menstruation hmm. and do not approach them until they are pure. Hmm. And when they have purified themselves, then come to them from where Allah has ordained for you. Indeed, Allah loves those who are constantly repentant and All loves right. those who purify themselves. Wonderful. And? Yeah. So I'm, so do you agree? Uh, does it say about, uh, do, you agree, uh, do you agree with Muhammad in this one or you don't agree? Uh, this is not words of Muhammad, it is from God. So, okay, but whether Muhammad, I agree with Muhammad, Muhammad or not, is irrelevant. Okay, but Muhammad mm -hmm. is the one who said that to her. Here we go. Muhammad, he, when his wife, she have her period, he ordered her to put a sheet between her legs and he fondled her. How Muhammad... Is not the, from the... How, don't tell me, right? st stop saying not from the Quran. This is the Quran. The, the, the Quran <laughs> is a hadith. The Quran is a hadith. <laughs> you are mixing. Correct. You are the one is mixing. The Quran, the Quran, is, Quran is a hadith. The Quran is a hadith. Do you know that the Quran is, is a hadith? Yes or no? You are missing. My friend. So, you, yes, so correct. are you saying 13, to me, look, listen, listen, listen. Are you mm -hmm. saying to me that your Muslims are a bunch of liars and you wrote about Muhammad things he did not do? Are you saying that? Well, well, I didn't say that. But okay. You look at so why you keep saying to me, why you are saying, why you are saying to me, you keep saying to me, you took it from different books. So what? This is your your prophet. This is his word preserved by Muslims. Yeah, okay, this... imagine. Okay, imagine. All right. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, imagine if if I were to make commentaries on your book. My friend, you, you can you see I, you can I, make I, commentary I about my book, but you see, but my, but my friend, this is not commentary. This is the prophet said. This is not commentary. This is the yeah. prophet did. The prophet said, and the one is talking is Aisha. Are you saying to me Aisha is a liar? That's what you claim. Um, I, I didn't say that, but that's what you claim. But if you look well, at the picture, I don't, do I don't claim anything. This is Aisha claiming, and this is here we go. It says Sahih. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this madness. I claim this is your book. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's where we differ. I mean, if you choose to go in, in no, other, no, no, other no. Books, okay, you know, you know what? You know what? You just to show you, just to show you the hypocrisy you are playing yeah. with me. You are playing games. So, are you saying to me you don't accept the no, books of Sahih? Do you accept the book of Sahih or not? The book of Hadith. Well, chapter seventeen thirty-six. You must verify information before accepting them. No problem. Okay, yeah. I, I want so, you. I want you to tell correct. me now how you verify. How you verify the following: mm -hmm. that the child is born from a clot, as the Quran said. The child is born from a from clot. a clot, a congealed dead blood. The ninety-six, is it? Yeah, alaka. Hmm. Any chapter, chapter 23, verse number 14. Mm -hmm. so, okay. <clears throat> How you verify that this is from God? First one, we showed you that the sun set in murky water, you play games, and we show you Muhammad explain it, and you then you come with the conclusion saying, Oh, it is perspective, he saw the ocean, but there's no ocean, and it says a spring. So you try to get away from that one. Let us see how you will get away from this one. 
how God, he say, that a human Next being is, is, is made of a nutfa, and then the nutfa became a dead blood, and then yes. the blood became a lump, and then became a flesh. flesh. Mm -hmm. And the fish became a okay, bone. So so do you agree with that? Did right. you verify this information to be true? <clears throat> well, if I am, uh, if I have knowledge in this field, then I can verify. It. So you so are in the year two thousand nineteen. You are in the year two thousand nineteen. But now you cannot verify that a sperm will not be anything else, and a sperm will not transform to be a dead blood. Are you saying that to me? Well, that is based on the knowledge we learned from my science, friend correct? a second ago you said to I me mean, we uh, you, a second ago you quote for me a verse in, versus saying we have to verify now you don't want to verify why you don't verify what are you waiting for how old are you <laughs> but then how do you verify that well it's very easy so i mean there's books read, of science there's books read, of doctors science, this is very I simple mean, you, thing you this verify is, this is not about going do. to the listen this is not about the unseen this is not about going to the space this is something or oh, every single school teaching the school in your school you went to school they taught you that a sperm yeah. will go to the women Correct. Yeah. and then there is an egg exactly like what and I then will science, activate the egg it. yes so what this is about this is a notfa this is a sperm of a man going inside the women and then became a congealed blood. How come you don't want to verify this one? Okay, so and how you can spend this, all this your life? You know, how come you spend your life how, learning about verses? This, read this verse, this for me. Read this verse for me. But you don't want to verify this one. How come? <laughs> well, okay. How do you verify this? Let me see. I mean, have you witnessed it personally? Are you a scientist? Let me ask you the question. You don't, right? You you verify the same. Look, uh, guys, look look yeah. at this. This is look right, at this sir. joke. Look at this joke. Are you are you a scientist? There is scientist. I am not a scientist. Do I have to be a scientist to verify it? The scientist will verify it. And the yeah, scientists, they said, they say, the scientists, they say how the baby science. is made. They do not need to be Christian. They do not need to be Muslim. Actually, I can show you even from Muslim websites saying that this is how the baby is made. You can go type right now in your language, in your country, yeah. Islamic but country, and you will find that the baby is not made this way. This is a silly, this is a stupid statement. Well, that's your, that's. Let me ask you, according to oh, science, reason. you see, but you I keep saying to me, the funny, the funny mm -hmm. one we ask you to verify, you say this is, we cannot verify. So let us, I'm, I'm just go, I'm going to go with you. So how you assume that Muhammad is telling the truth if you cannot verify it? Well, uh, you look at chapter 482, if there's a lot of contradictions, then it's not from God. Thank you very much. If yeah. there's a lot of contradiction, let me ask you then, mm -hmm. which one Allah created first? Mm -hmm. The stars or the water? Uh -huh. But did you witness it? I'm not asking you, you don't, don't if you? I witness it or not. I'm asking you according to your Quran. Which one Allah created first? The stars or the trees, the grass, the water? The mountain, the star, you know, like well, you to make it simple for you. Which one he created first? Mountains, trees, grass, water, or lamps before them. Which one first comes? Which one comes first? Uh, because I don't witness it, but God is the one who came. My he friend, knows. I don't care if you witness it. You see, I, see, I, mean, you know, I, mean, I, I mean, you guys, do you see this comedy? So yeah. I can say I to mean, you, you now, okay, so so why, how, <laughs> how, how you believe I mean, in Allah, you but you did not witness it? How you, believe, how you believe that this is a true if you did not witness it? You see the ignorance? You are saying to me, a second ago you said to me, we have to verify it. When I said something to, to you, you said, no, we cannot do that. We have to verify it. Okay, I said, let us verify how the baby is made. You are asking, Suddenly you don't want to verify that. Okay, now I'm asking you, I'm asking you, according to your religion, which one Allah created first? According to the Quran. Even this one, you need to verify it. I mean, it's yes. it's there in the Quran. Did Allah created the mountains and the trees and the well, water Allah, and the grass can, first, or the stars first? Which one He created it first? That, hmm? It seems that you're using. I don't know. I mean, for me, when God revealed this, I will just use that information to praise Him. 
But he friend, shares with us this information. My friend, you never my witnessed friend, it. Friend, I don't witness my friend, it. Do you, are, you are playing games. Right? You are not being honest. A second ago, 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 you said to me, mm -hmm. if this book is from not God, you will mm -hmm. find a lot of contradiction. Correct? Mm -hmm. That means we should be able Correct, to verify yeah. the Quran. That's because if we cannot verify, then the statement of Muhammad in the Quran, if there is, if this book is not from God, you will find contradiction. That means we cannot verify okay. it and Muhammad making false statement. So if either you believe in the verse you quote for me, chapter 4, verse number 82, or you don't believe it, do you believe in it or not? Mm -hmm. Do you believe in it? Yeah, I do. Okay, that means we I can verify. That means that mean by making this statement, that means a human being can, be, can, can verify. Otherwise, this challenge is silly and stupid. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, how about 41? So I'm asking you now, before you go, before you change, 41. I'm asking you, according to your Quran, which one Allah created first? Mountains, grass, trees, okay. water, at, or the stars? Okay. If I look at 41, huh? uh, we look at 41 verse 11. Verse one, 41 verse 11? Okay. Verse 11, it says... <coughs> Yeah, <clears throat> that verse. he directed himself to the heavens while it was small hmm. and said it to the earth, come into being willingly or by compulsion. And they said, We have come willingly. Okay. And he completed them as seven heavens hmm. within two days and inspired each heaven its command. Okay. We adorn the nearest heaven with lamps. All right. And as protection, hmm. this is the determination of the exalted, okay. the knowing. Okay. So, yeah. So, what is the answer? So, initially, it was smoke. And uh, apparently, God said to the earth, "Come into being, willingly or unwillingly." Mm. They say we come willingly. I'm waiting for your answer, my friend. Yes. So, what is the answer? Did Allah created Sorry? the stars first before He finished the earth? Finished the earth, whatever, whatever in the top of the earth, or the mountains, the grass, the trees, or He created the mountains, the trees, the grass first, mm -hmm. and the, and the stars first, or the vice versa. Which one Allah created first? Well, I do not know. Well, the I verse mean, here, the, the verse in front I of you. Okay, from the chapter, from. from the chapter you quote for me, read from from verse number nine. Number nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Based on the chapter you are reading now, which one is is finished first? Go ahead. <laughs> See, do you indeed disbelief in He who created the earth in two days and attribute to Him equals? Mm. Th that is the Lord of the worlds. He placed on it. Firmly set mountains over its surface. Hmm. I lost you. Okay. 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 So you were in verse number Hello? 10. Okay. So he placed there in an earth. Okay. Mountains. Okay. And. And that was done in yeah, four get to the earth in two days and three. And then he placed on it firmly set mountains on its surface. Okay, so the first mm -hmm. thing, the first thing Allah He created is the earth, correct? Yeah, from according to this verse. Yeah. Okay, and the second thing is the created earth, the what? Yeah. What is the second thing? Let us take it one yeah. by one. It what is, is what is the second thing? Mountain. 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 Okay. Let us let us. Uh, I'm going to make a list in the screen okay. if you don't mind. So the first one I will type, earth. So, because later you might say, you know, I, I understand wrong, wrong. So, the first thing it was, uh, let us type here. The first was Earth. All right. And then, uh, instead of this here, this is what one? Okay. Now, the second is mountains. Correct. Okay. The second is mountain. Mountain. From the west. Okay. What is the third? The next one was he directed itself to the heavens. Okay. But it was smoke. So the heaven was not. It was just a smoke. There's nothing, right? Correct. And actually, you, and missed you, you missed something. You missed something. You missed something before, by the way, because it says their mountain, and he gave the earth all its sustain, which means the grass, the trees. Correct. Mm. Because after the mountain, he measured things, uh, all yeah. things for the earth. He finished everything in the earth. Correct. 
What he did after yeah, the mountains. Okay, we can say that. Okay. Less so funny. after okay, that's that's good. So after the mountains, he made the water and the grass and trees. Okay. Number three, water, grass, and tree. That's wonderful. Okay. So now, so this is number three. And uh, uh, now, what is number four? Uh, then the heavens itself directed himself to the heaven. Okay, and the well, heaven was what? Everything else, I guess. The, the heaven was a smoke. There was nothing. Correct. Okay. Okay. And then Family what? He, and then what he did? Possible. All right. And what he what he did after? What he created after? In verse number uh, twelve. Uh, verse number twelve. Right. He completed them. He made them seven heavens, right? So number four, he made seven heaven, correct? Okay. All right, seven sky. So number four, seven skies. All right, sound good. All right, so now, what is number five? Uh, lens. He created we stars, right? Lamps is the stars, yeah. right? Lamps is the stars, correct? Yeah, correct. Thank you. All right. So number five, stars. Wonderful. Here we go. So now we have an order for what the Quran said, according to our friend here, Mr. Zaki. He is from India or Bangladesh. And <laughs> this is what he got for us. Thank you very much. I will take a snapshot. So you will not say you did not say that. All right? Now, I want you to open for me. That's much. Basically, yeah. Okay. I want you to open for me chapter seventy-one. Sorry, sorry, seventy-nine. <clears throat> Are you there? Which verse is that? Chapter seventy-nine. Yeah. Mm hmm. What it says in chapter 79 about the creation of the earth. <coughs> Which verse? 79, the whole thing? Wait, let me see. Uh, let us start from this verse. Hold on. So you don't say. I can't see your screen. Just to let you know. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm just let us start. Listening let, let, us, let us start from, from the beginning. So you, nobody will say I'm, I'm jumping. Uh, read for me from verse number 27. 27. Yeah. <laughs> and are you a more difficult creation or is the heaven? Mm. He constructed it, he raised its ceiling, mm. and he portioned it. Mm. And he darkened its light and extracted its brightness. Mm. And after that, he spread the earth. He extracted it from, from its water and its pasture. Mm. And the mountains he set firmly mm. as enjoyment for you and your grazing livestock. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So based on this, which one will I finish first? Mm, based on this, if you are talking about this itself, raise the ceiling and proportion it. The ceiling first. My friend, you based it. on this, okay. come on. Based on this, Allah, he created the sky, verse number 27. Then he made it high. He made it seven sky. Then he made the day and the night. He created the light, the lamps. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he put the grass and the water. And after that, he put the mountains. This is totally the opposite from what we just showed you in the previous verse. It is 100% mm -hmm. the opposite of what you and me agreed. Here we go. This is the verse which we showed you. Verse number 17, uh, 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 sorry, 41. And th this is your choice. You're the one who said to me, let us read 41. In verse number 41, the earth first, then the mountains, then the water, then the and the grass and the tree, and then seven sky, and then the stars number five. Here it is the opposite. First he made the sky, he built it. Then he raised it up, he made it seven heavens, and then he made the lamps, darkness and light, and then he made the earth flat, and then he brought the water and the grass. And then he put the mountains. So while the mountains, the order is, what uh, the order is, the order is important to you to establish that this book is the truth. 
My friend, it is you who said to me, if this book is not from God, you will find a contradiction in it. So how God cannot remember even which one he created first? I mean, this is very simple. Well, well it just describes, it just tells you how God creates it. What the, how crazy is Allah? I agree with you. This is crazy. This is God. He think in I one chapter. <coughs> you see, you I see now, you see, you see now you are not being honest. You are you are breaking the challenge. You are the one who says to me that the Quran says, mm -hmm. if this book is not from God, you will find contradiction. And you are the one who quote the verse for me. And now we are showing you a very clear, amazing, stupid contradiction. You are trying to wash your hands from it. I mean, because you set up the rules, you are talking about the order here. My friend, you I did not set the root. I asked you one by one, which one is first? You said the earth. Which one second? You yeah, said the mountain. Which one third? You said the, the water. You see, now you, now you are sorry. You see, you are not being honest. Did you say to me? What, this is why I wrote it down, because I know after five minutes, you will say to me, I did not say that. I know Muslims, they always lie, like their prophet. So isn't it you who said to me the first... Did you, isn't it you who said to me the earth is first and the mountain is second and the water is third the and, the, is and, the, and, the, and the and the sky is number four and the stars are number five okay and isn't it you here who said to me that it is the first Allah he created the sky and then he made the night and the day which mean the stars and then after that he start working in the earth and make it flat and then after that he brought water and grass and trees and the last thing he did is the mountain so while creating the mountain was number two. In the chapter 41, creating the mountain is the last thing in chapter 79, as simple as that. Okay, then why don't you write your scripture, CP? My friend, I have I have four books about <laughs> Islam. I, I, the Islam is my joke. And here we go. No, I just get, no, I just get no. your prophet busted. And you are saying to me, why you don't write your own scriptures? My friend, I am not a false prophet to write scriptures. Why you want to write scriptures? I'm not a, I'm not a liar to write scriptures. He, here, if this guy, you, you agreed with me, if uh, uh, that uh, lie is evil, and now this is lying is deceiving millions and billions. So how we can accept such a liar to so be how, a prophet? Okay. So how is it evil? It doesn't answer the question that Islam is still evil based on your... My, you, my you friend, all these my, my friend, my friend, when somebody... You put it against when, me like... Oh, no, no, let me show I, you, let me show you, let me show you. Oh, okay, but so so now you admit it. So you, so you admitted that Quran is a lie. Thank you very much. We are done with this. Now, number two, you said that because you are the one who who encountered the, the contradiction with me and you agree this is a contradiction. Because okay, this is the parameter you set up. You said the order. What uh, you, you are exactly the one who explained the verse to me. It like is that. you who explained the verse to me, not me. I was asking you which one we write number one. You said earth. Which one number two? You said mountains. Which number three? You said the grass. It's you who <laughs> gave me the orders. So, all right. So based on your your argument here, just because of that, you reject the whole book. All uh, the good news comes from the book. If if, if, if uh, so, are you saying to me this chapter was not from Allah? No, I didn't say that. Okay, so if this chapter from Allah, that. Allah is a liar. I, that's it. Allah is a liar. <laughs> you see, my friend, look, look, look how silly you are. Are you the one? Are you the one who just showed me a verse saying that if this book is not from Allah, not from God, you will find contradiction? Isn't you who quoted for me? Did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. So you are the one who put, and you're God. You are the one who put the but method. Why do, you, why do you take? Why do you take? Listen, the listen. That you are the one who put the method. Who, you yeah, are the you, one who chose the method, and the method is: it, if this is a no, book, I didn't choose this. Man. It is you who quote for me this verse, I mean, not me. Is, isn't it you who quote right, this I verse? Put that verse? Okay. Like so what this verse says? Hmm. Repeat again to me. What this verse says? Uh, do have, have, okay. Do they not consider the Quran hmm. carefully? Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely found there in much contradiction. Thank you. So now this mm -hmm. book is from uh, from who? If it, uh, because the, the according to this verse, if there is contradiction, this book cannot be from Allah. Okay, then why so then, now I'm asking you, this book from who? My friend, my friend, I am following the, the method of the six. Quran. I'm following the method of the Quran, which you are the one who asked me to follow it. And now you are the one who said to me, okay. we have to verify the, uh, the information. I said to you, how? You said to me, we go to chapter 4, verse number 82. We went there. It says, if you find contradiction, for sure, this is not from Allah. Okay. So if Allah is not the one who wrote the Quran, so Muhammad saying it is Allah, why? 
Uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? Oh. Based on this verse, this is cannot be from Allah because uh -huh. the, the verse says, if you find contradiction, this book for sure is not from Allah. Okay, wonderful. And now we found a very clear contradiction. So the Quran confirmed that this book cannot be from Allah. So the question is, Muhammad said that this book from Allah. Allah says, if you find contradiction, this is cannot be my book. And now this is a proof that the Quran cannot be the book of Allah. Obviously, this is the book of who? Book of Muhammad. Okay. So you are you shaking the most, my friend? This is why you are shy to say who you are. Are you shaking the most? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I never. Well, I don't know. I, never, I have a feeling that you are a shake in the mosque. You are. You are afraid. What will happen in this no, debate? No, so people no. will not say. Yeah, this is why you are shy to say your name, and you are afraid to to tell what do you do because simply I, there is no reason for me. I have I people want to. For me, I have I have a million reason not to say I because mean, I have many millions of people want to kill me. For you, you are a shake, and now yeah. you got your profit busted. And you, and, and you maybe look like you were expecting it to happen because you know you are talking to Christian Prince and now you do not know what to say the, the contradiction is so clear it is you who counted for me one by one and now the Quran is not the book of Allah so it's the book of who what we will do well well if that's okay if you let's say you reject this then you must come with a better solution than what your solution my friend problem, my friend you claim better solution go and take a cold shower are you mm. are you are you playing stupid now are you playing stupid are you really playing stupid guys he's uh, saying I to mean, me okay now what we will problem, do we are out of that okay hold on hold on let, let, let me show you how stupid you what you what you what you are just said to me you are like like a crazy person who his hair is growing like a bear and he says okay this is the only barber shop in ta and in, in the town who is going to cut my hair my friend muhammad cannot your, cut your hair this guy himself is bold so how he can teach you how to cut your hair don't you see he lost his hair he have no hair we strip him so you are saying to me what is the solution the solution is that you deny lies this is the first solution and then you start looking for the truth and obviously the truth is not there this guy is a liar his name is Muhammad and he's a scam he's a fraud so you are saying to me okay so now what is the solution why you don't write your scriptures CP you are talking like a kid how old are you I mean I mean that's the general conclusion if no you, you cannot say that, say that. you cannot say to me you, you know, my friend you cannot say to me why you, you don't write your, your scriptures i mean this is silly of you so that somebody told you i claim to be a prophet somebody told you i claim to be god or i claim to be an angel i'm no one so i am not saying to you our write as scriptures i'm showing you this is cannot be a scriptures i'm just using we did use our brain just for 15 minutes and we got your prophet busted and we spank him hard and now i have five fingers marked in his in his uh bum. He's exposed by you by your help. I mean, that's your conclusion. Not conclusion. No, you agree. This is here we go. Everybody is watching. You are the one who gave me the list. Which because one you created you first? Which one you created last? And the Quran is contradicting what you gave me. So it cannot be both of them from the same God. One of them is from different God. And this is mean the Quran is not a book of God. That's it. <clears throat> So how do you prove that? that is What's wrong with you? Isn't it the verse in the front of you says, if this is a, a book have contradiction, for sure this is not from Allah? Just because of the order. Of the <laughs> is that how the shape of Bangladesh know, you, you know, you know I, is that how you teach in your mosque? Is that how you teach in your mosque? I mean, you are, you are, you are funny, my friend. They pay, you, they, they pay you a salary to be a shake yeah. in the mosque for what? To say to say to them what solution? Give me a solution. What kind of God? You don't remember which one he created first. You can religion is wrong. I'm asking you. you know that, right? This is not my conclusion. This is your conclusion. Right. You are the one who helped me. You are the one who got me got, got him busted. It is you who gave me this list. You forgot? This list, my friend, is created by your help, not by me. I was writing what you were giving me. You gave me a list, and the list is very simple. You said in chapter 41. The earth created first, the mountain second, 
the water uh, third, the grass and, and uh, water and grass and tree third, and then fourth is the seven the, the, the seven sky, and then the fifth is the four, five one, stars. You know, chapter this is chapter forty one, and then we and then went. It uh, doesn't matter how many chapters it's it's done. It doesn't matter how many chapters because of this contradiction, this contradiction. This one saying it clearly. Okay, this one saying it clearly. This one saying it clearly. But, Let us go again. Let us see how slow you are. Does it say clearly? And you are the one who agree that first he made the sky, then he raised it up and he made it seven. That is fine. And I mean, then he made the day and I mean, the night. And then you, after you, that, you, and after you that, he made the earth I flat. Hmm? You made your point clear. With regards to the order itself, there are differences from the two different chapters okay how you can accept the then, differences you just that. you, you, that. Yeah, you just is. you just agree there is differences and there's contradictions so what we will do now <clears throat> what i will do hmm. i just need to find out the better solution that's what you need to do okay i will i will i will, right. I will tell you what I to find yeah we are also my friend, friends here my, we, my we friend agree uh, guys this guy friends. this guy is we trying to find a solution hold on hold right. on i mean what do you mean find a solution First, we need to find the problem. Then we can find a solution. So the problem is that you have a smaller brain and you refuse to use it all your life and you think you have knowledge. In 15 minutes, we destroy all your knowledge because you never search and you never really be, been, been a person who is looking for, for the truth. So the problem is, is to look for the truth from now on. So what's the alternative? I mean, you... The alternative is so that the if there is there's the, tons of thousands now they will watch this video and they will die laughing at such a cult more than a billion believe in it believe that this is full of full of science when this this book is full of garbage okay that is your claim that's not my claim mm -hmm. it's it is you who who show us the garbage your help you are the one who made this list for me you are the doctor you know i should pay you for this look at this <laughs> it's your advice okay guys uh, you, let us say your name is Zachary. Zachary, Zach, right, right? Okay. I'm an editor. I called the Christian prince. And I wanted to prove to him that he's a liar. And I told him I trained you. And he said to me, I said to you that the Quran is full of lies. And I said to him, this is the verse in the Quran I said, if this is the book from the Allah, it's going to be contradict him. And then we go step by step. And the debate right now is recorded in YouTube. And you can take it out. And I just but, but, but get embusted. Uh, brother, what you say? I get embusted. Zach and I got me busted. This is you. So you got me busted and you showed Allah that you are ignorant. You don't even remember which one you created first. I mean, what kind of God this God is? I mean, this is very simple. It's not really, it's not like this. It's, uh, I don't care how Allah created. I don't care. But he said to me, he did this. He did the earth first. He did the mountain second. He did the water and the grass and number three. And yeah. then he, he did seven, seven skies and then five, and, and then he did the stars. And then we find in the opposite verse, he says totally the opposite. Your yes, God, okay. my, yeah, I... my friend, your, your God is taking too much hashish. <clears throat> Look, uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, I do not witness how the sky and earth is created. I don't care. I did not God. witness too, but Allah, he said and, different order. Yeah. That's a contradiction, my friend. You see, you are playing like a kid now. I did okay. not see it. I was not there. You was there. No, I wasn't there. Hey, guys, you were there. We were not there too. So all of us, we are not there. See, just, so now we have a party. It's called we are it, not there party. I mean, are you being silly or a man? Being there or not, it doesn't matter. He told us how he did it. So, so you mean... You mean to tell me just because of that I should reject all the a lot of good that is sure. in the future? Isn't it the Quran said? Isn't it the Quran said? What's wrong with you? If this book have a contradiction, then the Quran is not from Allah. As simple as that. And I, I have hundreds of them. The who said? Who it's said I have? Hmm. Who said I have only one? Who said I have only one? The whole Quran is contradiction. The whole Quran is stupid from the beginning to the end. But okay, show me more then. But, I, didn't, but, I mean, but, let's see. Why, the, why you need me to show you more? This, I just showed you. Listen, I showed you the sunset in Miracle okay, Water. You, you said this is your perspective. I showed you how the babies are created. He said you have to prove it. I wasn't there. <laughs> so each time I will show you something, you will say the same. You are just a kid. Or trying to play one. Okay. You, are, you, are, you are trying to play like you are a spoiled kid. I wasn't there. I don't care. It's not me. I did not because do it. You are, you are talking about, you are talking about <laughs> science and then 
things of creation that my friend what science what science do, do you call the science this I, 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 I call it fiction stupidity secondly forget about science I don't care really how Allah created the heaven if he created the heaven but as long Allah he says I made the earth first and the mountain second and he gave us the order then he should keep his order as simple as that I'm not going to go in details maybe he it took him billions of years to create maybe it's very complicated but this is not my topic my topic is which one Allah created first he told us I'm 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 judging what he said to us love is evil but apparently you switch to 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 this topic itself uh, so but because you are the one who quote for me that, this verse you are the one perfect. who said to me you are the one who said to me I want to show you a verse the Quran saying if this book is not from Allah there's a lot of contradiction I said sure let us go then to this verse you are the one who made me go there all right okay so I concede on that issue so I got to research more <laughs> Yeah, so what now? Will, yeah. So now, I, for me, did you, for so, me I see so now, do you agree that Muhammad yeah. is a liar? Do you agree that Muhammad is a false prophet? I I wouldn't say that at this at this point now, no, because I need to. Why not? Absorb more knowledge. Isn't it enough? I mean, how many lies I need to lie to make to make myself look like a liar? You need to look at the whole scripture. I mean, there's a lot of my friend. This is the whole picture. We just showed we just showed I mean, you in the Quran, my friend. Just, what what why, why you why you are playing oh, oh. games? The, the, isn't it the Quran is so clear? If you find contradiction, this is a book for sure, not from God. The Quran is saying that. So what whole picture? <coughs> Either the whole book is from God, or this book is far, false. And we just to prove it that cannot be from God according to the scale which Muhammad and his God they gave us. Then I guess we have to to disagree because like. I seriously could, couldn't find any other. Could not find what? That, that teaches so much, <laughs> too much knowledge. Yeah. What? Too much good insights. I don't understand. What say again? But if if you use that as a if you use that as a yardstick to dismiss the Quran, then then fine. By by your case, it's okay. You can you can dismiss it. But for me, I see a lot of good. And my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, look like look how silly you are. You just agreed that the Quran is full of contradictions and now you are saying this book is full of contradictions have good eh, i mean how silly well yellow pages have good any yellow pages you open it you will find the name of doctors name of nurses names of hospitals names of pharmacies they are it's a there's good there who said the yellow pages and there's numbers for prostitutes you can call them and there's numbers for massage they, you can call them and there's I mean this is the Quran so look what you are doing you are saying to me is okay I found mistakes in the Quran the Quran have a lot of stupid things but still the Quran have a lot of good things like what like can you be good even to your family yes okay. can, you read, can you read for me chapter can you read for me chapter 9 verse number 23 yeah. Hmm. <coughs> okay. If your fathers, your sons, your brothers, your wives, your relatives, wealth which you have of hmm. commerce, wherein you fear decline, hmm. be able to you than Allah and his messenger and jihad hmm. for his cause. Hmm. Then wait until Allah executes his command. Hmm. Allah does not guide. Hmm. The disobedient people. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You said to me, you can be a friend to your okay. family, but you cannot be a friend to your family. Hey, look at you cannot. You is, cannot be a friend to your family. You cannot be a friend to your family. Yes or no? I can't hear. You. Cannot be what? You cannot be a friend to your family. Yes or no? No, I mean you know you can be a friend. Look at look at sixty verse eight and nine. My look friend, the, the verse says it clearly that you cannot, you will not take the believer will not take the the kafar. Okay, we will we'll look at. It. <clears throat> hmm. okay, what about chapter sixty verse eight and nine? Chapter yes, chapter one chapter chapter, chapter what sixty chapter sixty Allah, chapter sixty chapter sixty eight and nine sixty Allah does not forbid you. Mm. Uh, Okay, I verse eight and nine. Sixty. Allah does not forbid you. Yeah, six zero. Verse eight and nine. 
First, for, verse what? Verse eight and nine. Allah does not forbid you nine. from those who do not fight like you. Yeah, no. yeah, but this verse, six, uh, my friend, you are you, see, you, you are an ignorant. This is about about the mother of Aisha bringing a gift to her. He said, "Okay, receive a gift for her." It's not about. Where me. is he talking to Aisha? My friend, yes. Okay, yes let me read, read, read the interpretation that's, and let me let, let me get you busted, my friend. Additional to all the bust we have. The okay, thing. hold you on, see, hold on, you, hold on, you hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are the one who said to me. So you are saying to me now that the Quran says you can be friend with the family if they are kuffar. Yes or no? Okay, come again, come again. You are saying to me. You can be a friend to your family if they are kuffar, and you gave me that verse. Yes or no? Yeah, because this verse says that Allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you because of religion. Thank do you. not expel you from your homes. Thank you. And from being righteous towards okay. them and acting justly towards okay. them. So you must be just to people. No problem. Unless yeah. they attack read you. For and me, they... Read for me chapter 58, verse number 22, and love you to yourself. Okay. Hmm. Uh, 58, 22. <laughs> you will not find in the last day having affection for those who oppose Allah and his messenger, hmm. even if they were their fathers, their sons, brothers, or their kindred. Hmm. Uh, those he has displayed within the heart's faith and supported them with spirit from hmm. him. Hmm. So, can you be friend to them can or you cannot be friend? Balance. Can you be friend or you cannot be friend? Those are your family, and they are against Islam. They don't like Islam. Can you be friend with them or not? It, it doesn't mention friends having affection. Take care. It's like saying, okay. Take care. Go. You did evict them. But it doesn't make a friend. No, it says the friends. And are you saying to me you cannot have affection with your mom and your dad and your brother just because you don't want to convert to Islam? I mean, how evil you are. And look how they play. So, so what is the conclusion now? It doesn't matter. Actually, you just showed me a contradiction because you just showed me, according to your choice, one verse says you can be, uh, you, you can, you can be a friend to them, and the other verse says you cannot. Actually, there's tons of verses saying you can't be friends. Chapter five, verse fifty-one. Chapter nine, twenty-three. Chapter 58, verse number 22. There's tons of them. All of them say the same. But if you see in the contradiction clear, as we showed you about creating the stars and the trees and etc., and you still you don't want to listen, I mean, I'm wasting my time with you because it doesn't matter what I show you. Say, still there's something good in the Quran. You are like somebody. He he went to the he went to the bathroom, and he found uh, a book, and he the book. To use it to wipe his bum and this is the good thing about this book so you will not let this book go just because it's going to wipe your bum all the garbage we show you in this book but still this book is good for you it have good in the book have good like what kill the christians kill the jews spreading hate promising women who have big boobs but maybe this is the only thing good about this book for you you like boobs don't you Hmm? What is the good about this book? Full-breasted women? Oh, thank you, Allah. Allah will give me full-breasted. I was worried it's going to be half a breast. These days you go to the mall, you buy even half watermelon. Not like the old days, you get full, full watermelon. I don't want to get women with half a breast. Hello, half breast, half nipples. Big, big breast, brother. Why are you going to marry a cow? And what kind of God he seduced me to go and kill people for him so I will get grape and big boobs women. This is this is why I will go to jihad. So I will have a grape and women with big boobs and wine. This is what jihad is about. This is the truth. Ibrahim Titar. I call the Christian prince and the coward he hang up on me and I have witnesses and I get imbutted and all the debate is recorded. This guy, I assure you, he's a sheikh in a mosque in Bangladesh or those countries. 
but he is afraid what will happen. So he will wait, he will see what will ha what he will do. If he do good, he will say to his people, I did debate the Christian prince, I destroy him. I took his screws off from his head and I could not put it back together. And now he is in the floor. And this is if he did good. If he did not, uh, he did not say his name. He did not tell who was he. He did not tell what he do. So <laughs> no scandal will happen. But I assure you, he is one of those sheikhs. And he memorized the Quran. You can tell he is memorizing the Quran. Yeah, they memorize, but you don't understand. They are very shallow people. My friend, even me, I cannot debate myself. I will lose. That's why I don't have a mirror at home. I go and when I moved to this house, there was a mirror in the back door of my my bedroom. I closed the door. I saw myself. I ran out. Who's that? Who's this guy? I was scared. Unbelievable. And then I brought a blanket. This is by the way, a true story, brother. True story. Sahil Bukhari, brother. I brought a blanket and I walk and I don't want to see in the mirror anything. So I cover the mirror and then I took it off and then I throw it away. Alhamdulillah. How was the weather today? It's the same as yesterday. <clears throat> Hot and sunny and beautiful. Minus, I don't know how many degree. <coughs> anyway, I hope we have a good time. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. And this is an this is a the little example about how they play games. It doesn't matter how you show them. Still, they will say, "You showed us nothing." Ah, you proved to us nothing. Even though they, he himself, he got his profit busted, not me. Right? Yeah. So, thank you guys for being here. I hope we did learn something good, all of us. Uh, yeah, well, there's many contradictions. Yeah, like the other verse says that, uh, yes, uh, four, four days plus two days, this is six days, then two days for the sky. That would be eight days. The Quran says six days. There's tons of contradictions. I mean, English, the whole book is a contradiction from verse number one to verse number whatever. All right? <clears throat> yeah, I am in the beach. My my beach have white sand now. Very white. <clears throat> Do you want to come here? I will put you back in my backyard in the beach in, in case you like it. <laughs> Oh my, don't remind me, please. No boy. And I have to go now and do shopping soon, actually. <coughs> you want to go with me? Uh, my heater is working. Yeah, my thank God the heater is working. Yeah, everything is good. God is good. Yeah, the heater is working. All right. I hope we did learn something good for today. And I hope that we. You see, always stand firm and be strong. And don't let the devil play with you. You see, if you notice how they talk to you, they play games. So you have to be consistent. Don't let the devil drive you. Don't let him take command of the conversation. If you try, if you see that this guy, he was trying to take us away. Whatever we say, he want to get away from it. And right away he caught something have nothing to do with the, what we are talking about in order to get us out. But each time he tried to get us out, we get him in and we sink him in and we get him wet. And this time it was not a wet dream. It was a real wet shower. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again tomorrow is Friday. I'm not sure if I will do it tomorrow broadcast but we will see uh, you guys in Jakarta and in uh, Indonesia you have a, a, a Friday is it off for you is a Friday off in Indonesia <coughs> which days off in Indonesia is it a Friday or Saturday or Sunday which ones no here we go the biggest Islamic countries in the world they don't want to take a Friday as off <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. It's Sunday. Unbelievable. 
Where is the Mujahideen? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Good for you. Um, Sunday and Saturday. All right, that's good. That's good. Anyway, so we will we will be sure that we will have a broadcast Saturday and Sunday then, uh, because we will have more people here with us. Don't forget to tell people about this new channel. This is why we don't have too many. You see, we have only like seven hundred people watching, but I don't care really about how many hundreds. But we care about sharing the truth, and then people download the videos, and then people add subtitle and party will start. Party, party. Have fun. Enjoy your time. Have a great uh, Friday tomorrow. And remember, pray for the Muslims to be saved from the deception of Allah and the deception of Muhammad. The deception of Muhammad caused millions of people to be misleaded, misguided, war. Peace is missing in this earth because of this cult. Bloodshed, suicide bombing, killing, terrorism. All of this in the name of one God. His name is Allah. He's a fake God and he promised you nothing but shame. Nothing but shame. God, when he created Adam, he created Eve, one Eve. And he did not tell Eve, hey, I will make a woman for you with big boobs. He did not say to Adam, I will give you 72 women at least. He gave him one woman. One man, one woman. If this was heaven in the beginning, how heaven in the end will be one man and billions of women and they have no panties? Use your brain. Because man and women, they are exist to have a family. It's not the man, he want to have unlimited number of women. This is called lust. And this is just a pure sex. He don't even know their names. He don't know who they are. They are created for sex. They are Barbie for sex. That is against the ethic and the nature of the Holy God. You see, in the whole religion of Islam, Muhammad never mentioned in the Quran that a man, he loved his wife. Muhammad, he encouraged men to have contract of sex with many women. Not If you cannot afford it, then you go for one. Only. So how this is can be from God. And Muhammad himself, he was a very good example of a man who is doing nothing except collecting money and women as if they are cars. From their fruits, you shall know them. The Lord's wisdom, not from their words. However, in the case of Muhammad, his words is ugly and his fruits is ugly. So he have a double proof that he is false and he's corrupt and he's a liar. Thank you for being here. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. See you soon.